Assalamu alaikum students. Today we are going to start unit 8 lesson 1 and the title of the unit is Saving the Turtles. I'm going to read the text first. At the top we have a question there. Why is that organizing a fundraiser? Uh, I will give you answer at the end of the lesson. First I will have to read the text then I will give you the answer. So, Okay, uh, let's start from the text. Grandma, did you enjoy your stay at the Turtle Conservation Project? Conservation means um, for the production. Sarah, yes, thanks, Grandma. I'm giving a talk about it next week. You must both come. Grandpa, of course, I would like to hear about the turtles. Sarah, the project is trying to, to collect money. I would like to help, but I don't know how. Grandma, what about organizing a fundraiser on a Saturday morning? Sarah, I could do that. Yes, I think that's a really good idea. Grandma, how about having a bring and buy stall? People can give things they don't want to the stall. Then they can buy other things that they like. Grandpa, you could always have a cake stall. Grandma, your mom and I could make lots of cakes for you to sell. Grandma, and I could come and buy some. Grandma, not too many or you will look like a turtle yourself. Well... Yeah, students, it is actually a kind of a conversation among grandmother, grandfather and Sarah. She, Sarah is actually going to give a talk about title conservation project. In the next week, she wants to collect some money for them and grandma suggests her to raise money through bring and buy stalls. She also suggests that she can arrange a cake stall with the help of her mother. In this way, they will be able to collect a lot of money for the turtles. Now at the top, we have a question. Why is that organizing a fundraiser? Now open your copies and you have to write down the answer. Like, answer is, Saira um, is organizing a fundraiser to collect money for the turtle conservation project. Now uh, come to question number two. Here you have to give the answers of the question and here you have four questions. First one is who is giving a talk about what and the answer is Sarah is giving a talk about the turtle conservation project. Second question is who needs money? The answer is Sarah needs money. Third question who is going to collect some money and how? Sarah is going to collect money through bring and buy stalls. Okay, what do you know about turtles? The answer is turtles are sea creatures which can also live on land. They are in danger of extinction. Extinction means something which is in danger of coming to end. So we have done question two. Now come to question one. You have to write the plural nouns on the correct lines below. Here you are given two lines and uh, you have to pick up the... Um, corresponding uh, to us from the uh, from the table like in the first line you can see that when the y is preceded by vowel you have to add s at the end like boys donkeys journeys keys and valleys and when the y is preceded by any consonant consonants are the letters which are not vowels these are called consonants and then the plural will be by ending the IES like cities, countries, fairies, ladies. Here are two groups of nouns. Um, well, some kinds of uh, nouns like knife. Uh, in these nouns, when we convert them into plurals, they convert into v uh, convert into VES like knife, knives, loof, loofs, wife, wives. And some other irregular plurals like child converts into children, man, men, woman, woman. Now again we are, um, we have to complete the sentence with singular or plural noun from exercise 1 and 2. Then listen and check your answers. Well, you have to complete the sentence um, from the singular and plural from the exercise 1 and 2. Okay. One day, a boy got on the bus to go to the city. He wanted to buy a scarf for his mother. He had a little money in his bag. About 80 pence. His father warned him before he left home. Be careful with your money and your 
journey. There are a lot of thieves in the city. Two men were traveling along the country track in a valley between two hills. They were taking a calf to market on a cart pulled by two oxen. We have a big problem with mice, said one man to another. They are eating, uh, eating the rice in the storeroom. Soon there will be none left for over geese. So, uh, I have already done it for you. Now come to next um, lesson. It is lesson 3, unit 8. I'm going to read the text for you first. Parveen and I have just arrived at Marine Tartar Project. It is at Hawks Bay near Karachi. We are going to stay here for a few days and help the Sindh, ben the Sindh Wildlife Department set up the Marine Tartar Project in 1979. Before that, the number of turtles in Pakistan was falling. Falling means decreasing. Now turtles cannot be hunted or killed for food and the eggs cannot be collected. The project has been a great success. A few hundred turtles came ashore to lay their eggs in 1979, but over a thousand came in 2004. Well, uh, in this lesson, we had came across that it is about the conservation measures taken by the synth wildlife department the project was uh, started in 1979 to refrain people from killing the turtles before the project only a few hundred turtles came ashore to lay eggs but in 2004 their number increased to thousands Welcome to the text. Dr. Fermida Firdos has been working at the SWD since 1980. She loves the turtles and her nickname is the Turtle Lady of Karachi. She says turtles have existed, means present, since the age of the dinosaurs. That's about 100 million years. She visits schools and shows a DVD of the conservation work. Conservation is protection. She tells the children how important the turtles are. There are several problems for the turtles, most of them caused by humans. Many turtles become trapped, means caught, in fishing nets. Then they become poisoned by pollution in the ocean. Furthermore, people are building more huts near the beaches so the turtles cannot find sandy banks to dig their nests. Some poachers, poachers are the hunters. They steal turtle eggs or kill adult turtles for food well in these lines um, we have came across that uh, uh, dr fahmida has been working for a synth wildlife department since 1980 and she um, creates uh, awareness among people about conservation of turtles turtles are um, facing actually many problems due to humans like they are trapped into the fishing nets or sometimes People uh, sometimes some poachers kill them for the food. Come to the text. Although they are called green turtles, their um, actual color is blackish brown or greenish yellow. They can grow up to 1.5 meters long and weigh up to 200 kilograms. They eat sea grass at the bottom of the sea. While we were there we went out and collected eggs. Each of us washed an adult female turtle walk into the sand dunes. Dunes means small hills. Then we washed quietly while she laid her eggs in the sand and covered them. When she had left and gone back to the sea, we marked the site with a stick. The next stage was to uncover the eggs. If we left them in the sand, wild dogs would take them up and eat them. So we uncovered them very gently gently means softly put them in boxes and carried them back to the reserve there we buried them in holes in pans pans are um, actually yeah, some small grill boxes where the dogs cannot get out them uh, cannot get at them the turtles will hatch out hatch out means come out of their eggs in about 40 to 60 days time Well, the greatest uh, danger for the turtles in the wild is when they are tiny, means small, small. First, they hatch out of their eggs, which are buried in the sand. 
then they must come up to the surface and crawl tens of meters down to the edge of the sea at this time birds fly over the beaches swoop down means come down and pick up the baby turtles i asked another helper why can't we carry the baby turtles down to the edge of the sea then they said then they will only have a short walk to the water i learned that the baby turtles have to walk themselves because as they walk their flippers flippers means fins become stronger if we carried them into the water they would not be able to swim because their flippers would be too weak well we learned a lot at the reserve well in these lines we have heard that um, while the girls were staying uh, at the reserve they uh, they collected turtle eggs and kept them in the pans in reserve so they will be protected from the wild dogs uh when the baby turtles uh, hatch out of their eggs they have to face many problems like uh, they have to crawl tens of meters to reach the edge of the sea at that time birds can um, birds can swoop down and pick them up the baby turtles have to walk themselves to make their flippers strong if we carry them to the water they would not be able to swim because their flippers would be too weak so next we have uh, done with lesson now come to the next question here we have to mark these sentences true and false and correct the false one right we have to tell whether the statement is true or false and then we have to correct the false statement okay first one is more turtles are haunted and killed in pakistan than before the statement is is false so we have to correct it like less turtles are haunted and killed in pakistan than before second statement is more turtles come ashore to lay their eggs than before it is true third one turtles eat fish it is false we have to correct it like turtles eat sea grass fourth adult turtles usually lay their eggs at the bottom of the sea bed it is false adult turtles usually lay their eggs in the sand dunes fifth sara collected turtle eggs and brought them back to the reserve it is true six one when the turtles come out of their eggs their flippers are not very strong it is true come to question 3 here you have to complete the sentences with words from the textbook we have came across some words in the text so we have to pick them up from the text and we have to fill them up here first one is pollution is caused when ships spill oil at sea second one is poachers are people who kill animals or collect eggs illegally third one is turtles lay eggs when they are adult sara mark the site of the nest with a stick fifth when baby bird or turtles came out of their eggs they hatch out it is safe to keep the eggs in pans than to leave them out in the wild seventh turtles and babies crawl on the ground when a bird swoops down it flies down very quickly through the air move then move to next page okay come to page number 45 here um a tiny poem is given and you are given some words you have to fill them up Oh dear, dear oh dear, oh what shall I do? There's a tiny little dinosaur in my shoe. Her teeth are sharp and her head's like a rock. When I put my feet in, she chewed my sock. Her skin is tough and her tail is long and her tiny ripply muscles are ever so strong. And I want to go out, but what can I do with the tiny little dinosaur in my shoe? again you have uh, second question you are given some words you have to fill up the blanks by using these words turtles in trouble okay secondly now i have already done it for you you have to pick up the words from the word bank which is given at the top firstly poachers visit the nesting uh, beaches in order to steal the turtle eggs secondly many turtles become trapped in fishing nets others are killed by fishermen in addition new housing and hotels are built close to the sea when 
this happens turtles cannot use those beaches for their nests on the other hand in pakistan the number of turtles has increased in recent years laws against the killing of turtles and collecting the eggs have helped in other countries however turtles are not protected therefore all countries should agree to protect their turtles so lesson is done thank you